Voice of Music Hi-Fi Amplifier Module. <laughs> new life as a guitar man. Hi and welcome to D-Lab everybody. In this video I'm going to show you how to modify a Voice of Music Hi-Fi Amplifier Module into a cool Class A tube guitar amp. Here we go. Okay the first step to convert the VM amp into a guitar amp is to remove every component except for tube sockets and filament wiring. So all the components are going to come out of this amp module and we're going to completely rebuild it into a tube guitar amp. So the only tool that you need at this point is a good pair of wire cutters. We're going to strip this thing out. I'll cut back once it's empty and I'll show you the process to rebuild it. Okay she's pretty much stripped down. You can see the pile of old parts, my tubes, chassis is ready for rewiring. The thing I spotted though was the socket for the 12AX7. The pins appear corroded. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that socket, put in a Michael X, and get those filaments hooked back up. And then we'll continue with the update. Alright, the new Michael X socket is installed. Filaments are wired up. And in case you're wondering why did I change out all those pots? Well, the pots that were in this thing originally did not match up with the circuit that I'm installing. So yep, had to put in new ones. Also, I noticed that this amp did not have a power fuse. So I have a little 3AG holder which should be mounted right over there on the side wall where the power cord comes in. Okay, our new filter cap is in place, but as you can see, she's a little loose. It needs to be soldered to that chassis. And what do I have in this shop? That is up to that task. That's right. Snozzeramus. Good evening. Sit back, relax, light up an old ghoul. A lot of people wonder where ghouls come from. Well, they come from all over. They have a lot of ghouls come from Portugal. <laughs> okay, mission complete. The VM Hi-Fi amp is now a tube guitar amp, pretty much modeled after Fender circuits. So I rewired the 12AX7, and you see I reused the existing terminal board. Filter cap is installed with its new dropping resistors. 6V6 is tucked down there with his bias resistor and cathode cap. And top side here is my tone control, so that was kind of tricky. It's pretty tight up there. I had to actually bring the leads up from the 12AX7. I landed a terminal board, and that's where my tone caps are. I'll flip it around, you can see it from another view. Right, I turn the amp over. You can see the 12AX7, my input jack, this is the volume control, and this terminal strip here has the tone caps. Also added a fuse holder inside, and of course a three conductor grounded cord. It was kind of a tricky task being able to navigate around in this cabinet, but it is doable. So the owner is going to reinstall this amp module back into the cabinet which it came out of. If you want to build this amplifier, I'll provide you the schematic here in the video. The trick now is trying to find these at a reasonable cost. I used to be able to get these VM amps for say 50 bucks, and now it appears they're about $150. But either way, it would be a great way for you to develop your own little Class A 6v6 amp. Alright, so as promised, here is the new schematic for the VM. So first, here is the original schematic that was in the bottom panel of the amplifier when it was a Hi-Fi amplifier. Now I'll cut to the new schematic and as you can see it's pretty much a little Fender amplifier. The tone circuitry, everything lines right up. 
The only thing you have to be cautious of is the high voltage in this amp is hovering around 445 volts. So make sure that you put in a 6V6 that can handle it. Okay, here's a bench test of the VM modified amplifier, now a guitar amp. So I have the amplifier on, volume's all the way down. There's no hum. I'm going to crank the volume all the way up. Just nice and quiet. Let's hook up a looper. Here's treble. Bass. VM is good to go. It's new life as a guitar. Man.